Hello, hello. Hello, hey guys. Hello, everybody. Heather, you were the first to comment. I'm not sure if you're still there. Hi, Kathy. Sally. Hi, guys. Hi, Sally. So, slightly different setup here, guys. Today, um, I'm in the hot seat, but I am not, don't leave yet. <laughs> I'm not going to decorate the cookies, but I will do something really fun. So um, let me just jump right into it. Uh, we will be making American flag cookies. These are the cookies that I will show you how to make. I already prepared the dough and you can find a full recipe if you want to um, try this at home, maybe for 4th of July on my blog, vanillas.com. And um, it's it looks complicated, but it really is not. So I will just... Uh, show you how to do that now and we can get started they look great han very um the lines are very perfect very perfect okay yes. thank you all right so so i've got my dough here um you can learn all about how to divide the dough on the blog i did that already not to waste the time and i also colored uh one portion with red so i'm gonna start i'm gonna set this one um, aside for a little while, and I'm going to start by rolling these two pieces, these two pieces to an eight by eight inch rect uh, rectangle square. So okay. can we look, just look at them one second again. I just want to look at them. So the white areas, like the American flag, everybody knows it. So you didn't color that. That's just the dough. Yes, that's the dough. That's the dough as it is. I didn't color that. It's, um, yeah, you don't, I mean, if you are really, really, you know, if you want to make it. Uh, well, I think it's nice like that. I'm just asking for. Yeah, use the white food coloring, but it's really not necessary. I don't think yes. it's necessary because this dough is pretty uh, pale, yeah. before, so you don't have to do that. Okay. Right? And if you wanted to um, have the dough that is a little whiter, you could uh, maybe avoid, you like, um, vanilla extract will also um, oh yes so, so if you're using vanilla that is like a bit deep bit brown it will pinch your dough so maybe option for a different extract hi Kim how are you how are you doing Hello. how was everybody's memorial day oh, I mean, was it last no memorial day oh no because we we didn't have last Tuesday so um we we couldn't uh we didn't ask you how was it memorial day so anyway so this is my eight by inch 
um, square. So you could uh, you could just use it as a reference. I'm just gonna put it underneath my. I'm using silicone mat, it's, although it's barely barely visible there. I'm using parchment, it's easier. So I'll just I guess I'll just take it out. And then my rolling guides are quarter inch thick. These rolling guides they come from. Um, um, Dough easy. Dough easy, man. I'm not using that today because my table is it's not too big. So I didn't want to... it's a it's a larger larger mat. All right. So you weren't just... on last Tuesday. No, we were not. You were not. You were very sick. Remember? Oh yes, I was I'm sick. I'm so glad that you don't know that you were sick. Yes, I was. That you, that you recovered. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll it out, and then we'll uh, we'll cut the bits to to fit to make that square. So I need to so I can trim this. So Kim says she's doing well. She's doing good. Seems to be tolerating the AC well so far. Not sure what AC stands for. I'm guessing that's the terminology for the treatment yeah well that's so. good good to be good to know that you're doing well thank you sally mm -hmm. Oops. We're using um, the mats helps, I guess, because you don't have to put flour and then you can use your scraps. Yes, exactly, exactly. So I don't have to. If you flour. add too much flour while you're rolling, your scraps become not as. It, it becomes. Dry out, tough. you'd say, right? Yeah, it also kind of dries out the attack, man, but it becomes kind of tough. The cookie dough becomes a bit tough. So I don't know if you guys noticed there, hand grabbed her knife, but she used it from the backside to not cut her mat there. And she. To not, cut the, to not cut the mat and my table. And your table, yes. So. And this is uh, basically the way you would make also checkerboard cookies. Mm -hmm. A tutorial coming up for those chocolate vanilla. So this looks pretty good. There's a little bit of, you know, left. Sorry, Kim. Kim was looking for us last Tuesday. Yes, I did put up a Instagram slide. Um, unfortunately, we don't do that on, on Facebook. So if you ever if you can find us, or if you don't see us in our regular time, maybe look on Instagram in one of our uh, stories. Uh, mm -hmm. There's an announcement there. Yeah, I had a terrible cough, which is not ideal when you're trying to speak during a live stream. But you sound much better. You sound Thank much better. You. I feel I feel a little bit better. So Kim is explaining that AC is basically the strongest form of chemotherapy. Oh, is it? See what happened here, guys? I put my uh, my rolling guides on the side of the mat instead of the mat, and that's why I have so much dough left. left. You know what I mean? It's thinner than a quarter inch, so I don't know. Oh. Hopefully, you were on the mat. You were off of the I'm mat. just going to add it here because I don't want to... Waste. Your stripes won't be the same thickness. I don't want to waste it, so we'll just do it this way. Yeah. Oh, Heather uses powdered sugar instead of uh, flour when she rolls. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I did that works also. I have never really used powdered sugar for my uh, for uh, the rolling part. Hello, Marlene. So Hello. All right. All right. So this looks good enough. So I'm going to quickly stick it into the freezer. And I'm going to take this, take this and peel this off. I think the freezer is an important part of the process, saying eh? to get everything nice and yeah. firm. It just it just helps. It doesn't have to be like rock hard. It just helps when it's uh, a bit chill. I also have these. These are from IKEA. They are kind of like a sturdy. Oh, it's like here. Let me put you on the big screen here. Show it again. It's it's a placemat. 
that's yes. uh, yes. Um, no, no, this is a cutting board, like you know, those flexible. Oh, I thought it was a placement. So it does work really well. You can place it underneath, and it doesn't take up as much space in your freezer. So okay. let me just roll it. For the time, I'm going to be rolling the white one. Mm -hmm. in the freezer, okay? You can entertain while I'm doing that. Hi, Mary Jean. All right, so I'm back, and um, I need to, I didn't realize, I need to wipe this off. So, I mean, hands showing how to make the American flag, but you can obviously tweak the concept to work with uh, your own flag if uh, you wanted to. Uh... Well, the flag, I mean, it's uh, unless the flag is the same as the American no, but there's there's similarities sometimes, you know, like you can tweak the, the concept and and create a different version. Yes, I agree. So now we're going to roll out the white one. Ideally, you want to do the white one first and then do the red one. You don't have to worry about cleaning the tools from the red dough. And to color, one thing that says, I For me to give them a dance, I don't know, this is not... <laughs> Give us a dance, okay? I'm more of a uh, inclined. I'm more inclined to do that. I dance every day. I mean, not that anyone wants to see that. <laughs> we were just yes. I mean, it's not like what was her name from Seinfeld? What did you say? Oh, Elaine. Yes. It's not like her. It's not like her. But uh, <laughs> but um, I don't need anyone to see see my my dancing for sure. But I do that every day. It's such a great stress reliever. Sally's had the checkerboard cookies on her to-do list for a while. Oh yeah, you you should really should. It's really it's really fun and it's such a rewarding project. And it's not that difficult. I mean. I really want to do that with, uh, you know, more colors. Check the board. Well, I think if you have certain elements on the flag that you can't necessarily do with the colored dough, you could do like small little stenciled with royal icing, you know, like just a very thin stenciling for, let's say, sometimes stars, or in my case, the Canadian flag, you could do the maple leaf in the middle. Oh, yeah. Have you, do you remember the heart? The icebox cookies with rainbow heart yes. inside. Uh, Eugene Kitchen, I think it was. This was maybe almost 10 years ago. Yes. He, he started doing all these um, all these uh, icebox cookies with different... Um, but the maple leaf is so particular. I, I don't know if it would work, you know, with the points and everything. Um. I don't know, like you have to freeze it. You have to yeah. it has to be rock hard and then you have to literally push the dough. Yeah. To the sections. Maybe if you have a cutter that is not so um I think I have, I have to move push it again because I can't roll it out. Something that's not so detailed. Are you gonna have enough dough there? Or are you gonna roll it thinner? Because you're off the mat again. I'm gonna roll it roll it uh, to and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I don't know. Maybe it's my table, who knows? There's always something that goes wrong, no? Because you had your guides off the mat again. Yes, I know. I will do the same thing, just so I have enough go, and then I'll do the same thing. Okay. I think maybe it's the rolling, yeah, I don't know if it's even or not. Sometimes I find that the rolling can, can, can do. Hi, Julie. Right. Olga's remembering uh, Elaine's dance as well. Yes, we watched the video yesterday, didn't we? So Sally's asking, so are you aiming to have exactly the same dimensions of the two, uh, of these two squares here that you're making? Yes, because we are going to stack them together and then we'll cut, we'll cut uh, uh, strips and then we, we will stack the strips. Perfect. Hello, Tara. Okay, let's see. 
The thickness is a quarter inch, right, Han? Those, those rolling dice? Yes. So this is our Yeah, that's the here. So is this your usual sugar cookie recipe? Well, it's on the blog. Yes, it That's is. what I mean. That's what I mean. I'm just asking the which yes, one for them to look for. It is. It is. But I do have it listed um, as a separate. Like it's in a, it's in a recipe uh, box in this blog post because it doesn't include baking powder. Oh. You want this to spread? At yes, all. you want everything to say stay uh, perfectly in place, right? Yes. So I did create a separate blog post for that. And, um, Sometimes I'll, I'll look at recipes and I'm shocked in the cookie recipes, like one tablespoon of baking powder. Like it's, it's like, uh, sh you know, you want the cookies to stay and then you see them in the photo. It seems wrong, right? Like the amount sometimes of baking powder that they have listed. Yeah, and they, yeah, oftentimes, I mean, my recipe for, as you know, for the soft, for soft cookies, but it's five cups of flour. So it has um, baking powder and baking soda. But that's a completely different, they're like kind of like whoopie pies if I had to compare them to something, those cookies. Okay, so this I'm going to um, also stick into the freezer. Are you finding parchment paper in Spain? Yes. I do have like it's um they have different uh, types of parchment paper different uh, sometimes this one has texture for whatever reason i guess maybe it's for the greasy food or something mm -hmm. but the german stores they have nice brown parchment paper which i really like oh yeah it's wax paper you're not finding wax paper no i can't find wax, wax paper here so i'm gonna put this in the freezer for a couple minutes while i'll work on the blue dough okay Um, can you hear me, Han? Yes. Heather's asking if you prefer those, uh, the, the guides, like the sticks on the table or the ones that go on the end of the rolling pin. Oh, I, I much prefer them. I mean, it depends on the project, I suppose, but I think I much prefer the ones that, um, sticks. You the know? sticks? Yeah, because I normally use a larger rolling pin. I use the silicone one, and um, it just doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have the guides, or maybe it came with the guides, but I don't really use those mm -hmm. using a stick. So for the, for the blue part, we are going to use the blue food coloring. I didn't color this piece. This is the water of the dough. And for the coloring, I would suggest that you always, always use gloves. And one thing that's really important when you're coloring the cookie dough is to color it right after it's made. Don't chill it a color because it doesn't take the color as well. So this I made maybe 40 minutes ago, so hopefully it's still good. I, and I and also, if, if the dough is hard, well, you're, you're working much harder than if the room temperature dough, right? Like if, if it's chilled, you're killing yourself trying to knead it in there. I lost my other glove, it's on the floor. I didn't want to pick it up. It's Obviously. So you're working on your saran wrap so that yes. you don't stain your, your work surface. Well, you could put it on, a, on something. Once it's kind like of those cutting boards probably be a safe option to work yes. on. Yes, or my silicone mat. So I can use one of these. And I got some questions once I when I posted the recipe, people were asking what did I use for the white and the blue. 
So we can actually do it at this point. So I've got here no parallels. Mm -hmm. And this is totally optional. You know, you don't have to use no parallels, but I I felt like they look really nice. So this is to replicate the stars. In yes. the you want to add like, you know, half cup. You want to maybe one tablespoon is enough. So uh, Denise is asking if you use the mats that you're working on there to also bake on. These, not really, no. Unless I'm making, not, not cut out cookies, I use these to uh, bake, um, like, um, what are they called? Uh, hand pies or things that release juice. Oh, okay. Or things like that. Mm -hmm. not, or anything but the cut out cookies. Because I don't find that they work. They really don't hold its shape. Mm -hmm. On these, I don't they know. The, the perforated mats for your. But even before, I, I um, and I think somebody had a while ago, many years ago, had emailed me. She was trying to figure out why her cookies are spreading. She was using silicone mats. And this was before I started using perforated mats. Um, and she. I told her to try parchment and it worked because I don't know, I think maybe depending on the oven, um, the heat is getting to the cookie, uh, maybe a little delayed, like the silicone mat is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The perforated mat has holes in it, so the heat is there right away, right? So the edges are of their cookies are super sharp. All right, so this we have to do uh one by one inch log that is um eight inches long so i'm using two of these which will give me half inch on each side and then i'm gonna stack them Makes so sense? The, the dough easy mat is listed in your amazon store right Han? yes that is listed in my amazon store if you want to try it I so just to tell you guys, with the, the rolling mat, you get you get like six of those guides, eh, with the mat? Yes, yes there is. there are these. Uh, that's four, and then you get really thin ones. I also have those. And those are really great for other things. So now I'm going to, this is actually useful too, because this guide, it's one inch thick. If I'm not mistaken, yes, it's one inch. So you could use it for the, you know, I need one inch strip. So I'm going to, is this eight inches? Yes, it is. I'm just going to cut this in half. Again, I'm using the dull side, dull end of my knife. Mm -hmm. Cut through the. Um, Julie, I couldn't tell you the, the differences between the perforated mats. I bought the ones I bought and they worked well. I haven't tested like several different versions. So I couldn't tell you. They seem quite similar from the photos I've seen. So now I'm using maybe there's a difference. There's some that are pink, some are black. I would imagine the black ones tend to brown your cookies more than the pink ones, if I had to guess. Sorry, Han. Oh no, I just uh, we cut. I cut it in half, and then we... you're making a, a like a, a big square. Um, uh, it's a log, one inch by one, one inch, and eight inches long. Yeah, you're making like a perfect square to to fit into the cavity that we'll make in a second from the red and white dough. So we do have some leftover glue, so we can use it to make extra cookie or so. Maybe make a little star. Now, instead of using your hands to kind of even out the edges, if you have to, use these. Mm. Or you can use a ruler instead if you have a ruler. Okay. And I'm going to, this is too long, obviously. It's more than eight inches, so we can... And trim that also. Mm -hmm. so um, to... Hannah, have you had any issues with regards to your perforated mats getting stains from the butter? Uh, 
stains, you mean like um oh, Cynthia is saying she has the black make baking I mask and they leave the butter imprint on the cookies after baking. Butter imprint. What's the butter imprint? Uh, like oh, I guess like the shape oh, of the oh, cookie. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think that does maybe happen. But it usually comes off, I soak it. I put it in a in a baking tray, baking um the baking tray. Baking tray, baking uh, baking sheet. And I soak it in hot water with a little bit of dishwashing liquid. And then I don't really have problems. So this I'm going to I'm going to stick this also into the you can go into the fridge or freezer. Okay, so this is a little log mm -hmm. to use to uh, assemble American flag ice box cookies. Uh, I guess they all have like a slight variation in their manufacturing. Mine don't get stains at all. Hi, me too. All right, so here are the sheets we made earlier, that I made earlier. We're just watching. Have you made ice box cookies before? Um, I didn't really do um, like a project like this. I, I make like the refrigerator, you know, those logs that you just slice okay. there. Yes. Slice, oh, they, they slice, yeah, slice cookies, slice cookies. I think they're also- But not really something like this with the, the, the very um, kind of, uh, I want to say mathematical, <laughs> like, you know, like, you're having well, to be if you very watch any of the Eugenie's videos, you know the Yes. It's <laughs> it's like yes. every millimeter counts. I mean yes. she, if you remember Instagram logo a while back, it wasn't what it is now, right? They changed it. So she did Instagram logo and that was a very complicated one. It was a complicated it was one. Like, yeah, it's like a um very mathematical, just like you said, yes. So Emily's suggesting uh, a paste of baking soda and water to get the grease stains oh, yeah. out. I have to tell you though, every time you're cleaning your perforated mask, you have to do this process. Um, yeah, it's a bit. That's, that's a lot. At the end of the day, it doesn't, you know, after you use them multiple times, the whole thing is stained and, and then it won't look stained anymore. <laughs> right? But I think it's soaking it in, in water, as long as it's clean, you know, as long as it's clean and you're not getting like a butter burn in your oven, which can yes. be, you know, smoke. That's Sally's saying she has both and she doesn't really see much of a difference other than the pink is cute. So here I've got my, my white dough and here's the red dough. I did trim the sides on the red. It's just easier to handle because we have to invert it onto the white. So I'm going to use my paint, my pastry brush, just very lightly. I'm just using water. Uh, you could, uh, I've seen some people use jam to use as an adhesive also. Uh, but, Kathy, I'm gonna do it uh, the next live that I'm on in the hot seat, I think is next Tuesday. So Tuesday. On Tuesday? Was on, I missed the last kind of uh, stencil for the month of um, of May when I was sick. Oh, I did move it a little too much. Okay, we'll see how that works. A little too much. I'm going to see if my... See, it's tricky to kind of nudge them because you wet it, right? So they stick together. If there was no uh, adhesive or water, they would you could slide them, I guess. Yes, but then you don't they, have your fuse. Yeah, yeah the fuse, yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to trim it because I need that square. Uh huh. So do you think that this would work with to make ice cream sandwiches? Well, what do you mean? Do you understand? After you've made your cookies, your flags, yes. could you fill them with ice cream? Oh yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. Yes, why not? That'd be funny. Eh? 
that we would very much fall. I might actually do that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we are okay. So now I'm going to quickly. Um, so we're going to cut these. So so let's see. Am I Oh, this one is so most important is to have eight inches. If it's longer than eight inches, it's fine, but on one side it should be eight inch. So you can then cut it. If it's longer, it's fine, but it shouldn't be shorter than eight inch. So if one side is shorter than eight and the other one is longer, or you know what I'm trying to say, use the one that is eight inch. So now I'm going to. I did make those, Sally, but it was kind of a little bit less precision stuff, I found, even though they were kind of intricate. I could kind of get away with things not aligning perfectly, like hands, lines, and stripes. Oh. Yes. June made some ice cream sandwiches. I don't know if you saw on her Instagram. No, I did not. Or maybe I did. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I maybe I did. She did it with chocolate chip cookies. Okay, that's yummy. So now we're going to divide it into four strips. So I'm going to do two strips that are two and a half. And then two that are, oh my God, I have a spider here. Oh, oh. You have a spider. I have a spider here. Oh my God, these spiders here. Okay, she's gone. He never made it on camera. I have spiders. But they say it's bad luck to kill a spider. In Japanese culture, I think they just take them and take them out. Oh yeah, well, I, I'm doomed then because let me tell you, I don't hesitate. So <laughs> two and a half, two and a half, and then one and a half, one and a half, okay? So you want to um, cut these strips. Kim also is not a fan of spiders. Oh, he came in out of nowhere. I guess I'm going to have to spray around the house. And what's great about these, you can make these now. And have the log in a freezer and then just bake them right before your uh, 4th of July party. Mm -hmm. so let me tell you, you bring these to a party and you'll be the top of the party. Everybody, how did you do that? So again, brushing a little bit of water. I'm going to, can you guys see well? Now, important is to make the pattern, right? So we want the pattern to be red, white, red, white, or white, red, white, red. Okay. You need to alternate. Yes. And the dough being chill just facilitates handling and alignment and keeping yes. everything precise. Now we're going to now remember the flag has the blue. Somebody help help me. Okay, let's see. So the flag has the blue square in the left corner, right? So I'm going to, so it's in the left corner, so it, it needs to be here, right? So I'm going to put uh, my red dough here. Make sense? I well, guess if, um, if you cut it from the other side, it'll be fine. Or you could just turn them, right? Exactly. That's what I was going to say. You just flip the cookie over. Yes, but I, you know, I always have to overcomplicate. So again, I'm, I'm using the strip that has red, uh, white on the bottom, so... It's continuing with the pattern. Okay. And this little area is the area where we are going to put the blue blue log. And I'm gonna bring that up. Heather said she was going to make ice cream sandwiches with her last batch of chocolate chip cookies, but the cookies disappeared and she doesn't, you know. 
That's not what happened. She's putting water, Olga. That's all she's putting. It's just water. a little bit water. Like I said, I've seen people use jam. But you know, I think the jam would burn potentially. Yeah, it could potentially burn. And maybe I'm muck up the pristine line you've created. See, I'm, I'm using the, instead of your fingers, like I said, if you use your fingers, you're going to make dents. And yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. If you use something long and straight, mm -hmm. just for a couple, a couple seconds, it will kind of mm -hmm. stick to each other itself. Now, these are called icebox cookies for a reason, because if you start cutting these, uh, the pressure of the knife will, mm -hmm. will also kind of create a mm -hmm. dent in a, in a dough or it will... Shape it. Let me just do a quick cut here. You know what you could almost need, though? It, I don't think it exists, but you ever see the thing they use to cut bars of soap? Have you ever seen that? Oh, no. If people do uh, soap, you know, like uh, craft soap, perfection. And it's so like a string, you know, of uh, wire. Oh, and they okay. it, it yes. comes down and I it does perfect. Okay, you could use actually a, a um, dental floss. Oh, dental floss. Dental floss to cut uh, things like that. I forgot. So now I'm going to wrap it in. This is a food wrap tightly. And I'm going to mm -hmm. stick it into the freezer until it's pretty much chilled you know, or frozen almost. I don't really like to cut it frozen, frozen because it really, it's really, it gets hard. So, yes, yes. Think, so I would let it like if once it's frozen, I let it rest. At room temperature maybe for five minutes and then I start cutting it. Angie has a good su suggestion, a cheese slicer. A cheese slicer. What it's like that? a wire for the, you know, the, the metal oh. one. Oh, my light just flickered. So now I'm going to place this into the freezer. Now, if you have a lot of things in your freezer, you could maybe make a little um, holder. Uh, this might be a cardstock or even a... a little cardboard or something of that sort so you can just have it in there maybe in the back of your freezer if you're not using it right away okay we don't see a coffee. super nice so you could actually um, make those in advance and i guess pull them out a little bit so that they you could cut them when they're rock hard frozen right yes and then slice and bake How long do they take to bake? These, just like the regular, um, I don't, I would say 10 to 11 minutes does. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want these to brown too much, okay? So once the dough, um, the log is chilled, you can take it out of the freezer, remove the, 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 box, the food wrap, and then I like to also like look at the, again, the edges. And if it mm -hmm. needs to be trimmed, you can trim it to have like a really sharp corners there if you, mm -hmm. you know, if you've got little misshape. But mm -hmm. this, at this point, it's very, very firm. So you want to make sure that you use a really sharp knife. I'm mm -hmm. using this top. That's my favorite brand. Very sharp. And you're not cutting on your baking mat. Now you're cutting oh, on a cutting oh, board. No, I'm not cutting on a baking mat. And now I'm going to use a ruler. And you can um, mark a quarter inch. You're using a needle? So, so yes, I'm using a toothpick. So you oh. can so the cookies are a quarter inch. You can just mm -hmm. hold it, but I find having a little mark there, it does help mm -hmm. to make cookies more even and um, mm -hmm. just not, a little nicer. Oh, look how quickly it disappeared. Mm -hmm. So then you bake these. I actually put them in the oven right away. If you are a little concerned, you can, you know, let them talk uh, about for about five minutes, ten minutes, and then bake them. And um, that's how you can make these. I actually have these here. Um, I froze some, so I'll show you what they look like. I found that they did bake nicer on a baking on a on a perforated mat than they did on a parchment. Mm. So uh, June is asking about the the um, quantities of the dough and everything. I think you said you have a blog post, right? It's on the it's on the blog. It's okay. I'll tell you. So you divide the dough in half. I'm sorry. You divide the dough in 
quarters. In quarters, you take one quarter, but you see I have actually some of the blue left. So that's the one quarter of the blue. You can actually use maybe a little less than a quarter. And then the remaining though, you put together and you cut it in half. So that's your white and red. So three quarters of the dough is divided in half. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Three quarters of the dough is divided in a half. But everything is, yeah, everything is on the block. So let me show you the cookies here that I have and that I baked. And I have to say I've been eating these, so I had today maybe three or four. Well, these are great. Often I get asked about uh, having a less sugar on the cookies. So this year you're not getting the icing, so it's a little bit less sugar. And in this recipe, actually, I did use a little bit of sugar, a little less sugar. You could use three quarters of a cup of granulated or up to a cup, depending on how sweet you like your cookies. Mm -hmm. uh, I also, um, on the, in a blog post, give a recommendation if you prefer tender bite cookie, use powdered sugar. And there is also a link to the recipe that uses powdered sugar. You send me all kinds of pictures. Did you make a version where the blue square had sanding sugar? I don't know. No, I don't think it was me. I don't think. No, it was no. Me. I'm, maybe the photo, it looked like it was sanding yeah, sugar. It looked like a sanding sugar. I don't know. Maybe, well, yeah. If you wanted to do a sanding sugar, that would be easy fix because you can just make a stencil. Yeah. Simple stencil, place it on unbaked cookie, brush this section with a little bit of water. And you're off you're off the they can't see there you, you can, go the stencil would be with cardstock simple st simple stencil um, the thing is is sanding sugar is hard to not get it in the areas where you don't want it so, so you like, could end up with like yes, blue. Right? you would have like sorry this is a yeah so you could do this and you could maybe you know i don't know like you said maybe even put no barrels on it or something of, of the sort before the cookies are, are baked or sending mm -hmm. sugar, just to give it a little crunch and it will be slightly raised as well. So oh, they look great like that. I like them very much. They're beautiful. So these are the yeah, American flight cookies. Again, you can find a recipe on the blog, honeyoz.com, full recipes listed there, also with step-by-step -step picture instructions. So if you want to have like a slower take, you know, Mm -hmm. These videos can be pretty fast. And um, awesome project. Chilled. I don't know about you, but I like them chilled. You like them what? Chilled. Chilled? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I like my cookies fresh out of the oven. Yeah, that's true, but chilled is good. And if you decide to make ice, the ice cream sandwiches, chill the cookies first. Oh, you so, mean you don't put your ice cream on the hot cookies? No, not even cold cookie. No, it has to be from I. I, from my experience, because I've I've done it. If it's not chill, it's going to start melting really fast. I have not really made a whole lot of uh, ice cream sandwiches, truthfully. So, but I do love. I buy them at the grocery store. They have them at the grocery store. So, oh, Christi, Chris, Christiane is saying it's uh, satisfying to watch you slice them. So I guess when you make your fast video for Facebook, focus on the slicing part. Slicing, slicing part. It's actually also satisfying for you as a baker. If you make those, it's just, oh, you're every, every slice, you're surprised that you did it. <laughs> yes. You know, it's a little reward you get after all that work. Those were awesome, fun. Thank you everybody for joining Thank us. You. Thanks, Han, that was great. My pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me just remove my hand from here. Any last questions before we wrap it up? Han, did you have anything you wanted to, um, here, let's just show them again your pretty pictures. Yes. She matches them here with the, with the napkin. Isn't that nice? Again, these are great for the patriotic parties. You could take them with you and be the start of the party. <laughs> have them in a the freezer, have the log in a freezer, and then cut them up when you're ready. In the freezer, they last for up to three months. So it's a, it's a great yes. uh, you know, recipe. Oh yeah, candy corn cookies, absolutely. Well, coloring the dough just gives you a different 
like a whole new kind of creative, you know, option. If you can get, you know, really um, things. Um, what are they called? Um, the spiral. Like, so the pinwheel. Yeah, the pin. Yeah, the pinwheel. What's on Friday, Kim? I'm pretty sure by my memory, it's Amber is in the a sweet seat, hot seat. On Friday, if I'm not mistaken, I'm a little bit uh, out of the my schedule there. I've had a bit of a crazy week here. My poor little dog is sick. I've been in the emergency and different things, so I've had some. Well, this is May. I don't know if I have uh, scheduled some chaos for June here, but I think you're correct. Here, let me look again. I have it here. Let me double check. Okay. Um, oh no, I have July here. I don't have the June, but I'm pretty, pretty sure um, Amber's. Uh, if I had to go by memory, on the tenth. Is it already tenth? Yeah. On the tenth, it's it's Amber, and um, I'm gonna be there as well. So you're off, darling. Yes. Yes. June yeah, I, didn't, I don't. I don't have it uh, right, right here to load, uh, Kathy, to show you guys the June calendar. Um, like I say, there, I've had a bit of a like a crazy uh, week. I got oh, sick, and my dog got sick. Ready on Friday. Yeah, you've been. Yeah, and it's only Tuesday, huh? And it's only Tuesday. Yes. So anyway, all right. Well, thanks, Han. Thanks everybody for joining us. And Friday, if you guys want more cookies, join Han and Amber on Friday. Okay, bye, bye. guys. Bye, everybody.